We continue our missing series tonight with the disappearance of a little girl in New Jersey. This is a case that gripped a tight knit community ever since five year old Dulce Alaves vanished in 2019. She was at a park playing with her brother at the time and he ran to his mom crying, pointing to the area that he last saw his sister. And there has been no trace of Dulce since. Correspondent Evan Lambert traveled to Bridgeton, New Jersey, and is joining us live tonight from that very park where Dulce was last seen. And for this family, Evan, um, a heartbreaking last several years, just not having any answers as to where she is. Marnie, it has been heartbreaking. And as you said, this is the park. Investigators and the family saying that five-year-old Dulce Alaves was playing on these swings with her brother. That is when a man, a stranger, may have tried to lure her in to a red van. 911, where's your emergency? Um, I can't find my daughter. More than two and a half years after Noema Alaves frantically called 911, reporting her five year old daughter, Dulce Maria Alaves, had vanished from a New Jersey park, Dulce is still missing. Okay, when was the last time you seen her? We were murdered at the park down. People said that somebody, probably somebody took her. It was September 16th, 2019, and Dulce was with her three year old brother playing near swings at a public park in Bridgeton, a rural New Jersey city with a large Mexican American immigrant community just about an hour south of Philadelphia. She likes princesses. She likes to wear dresses. She likes Elsa and Juan. Noemma tells News Nation, Dulce has a spunky yet sweet personality, just as her Spanish name suggests. And it's hard for us because Dulce's not here with us. She's eight right now. She's turning eight. And it's really hard to believe that she's not here with us. This year is also another one that Dulce's family hopes brings answers. Two days after Dulce's disappearance, an Amber Alert went out, describing the original theory from witnesses and law enforcement that a suspect lured the three foot, 60 pound girl into a red van with a sliding door. New Jersey State Police later releasing a sketch of a possible person of interest, described as a Hispanic male, about five foot eight, 30 to 35 years old with acne. But that's where the leads investigators have shared with the public have stopped. Cumberland County Prosecutor Jennifer Webb McRae tells News Nation the investigation remains open and active, and all theories and possibilities are on the table. But investigators believe Dulce could still be alive. In the absence of evidence that of Dulce's demise, we hold out hope that she's alive. It's why they and Dulce's family want people to take another look at her photos, the sketch, and even age progression photos released by the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. The hope that someone will help bring detectives the last puzzle piece they've been looking for. One element that did not seem to be important could, could be important and be the piece that breaks this wide open. One lead that authorities at one point had seemed to rule out the possible involvement of Dulce's father, Edgar Perez. The FBI saying they've interviewed him, but local law enforcement reportedly reached out again after someone identifying himself as Perez posted this on YouTube last year on Dulce's birthday. I don't know where she is. Don't know who she is. We I don't know if my, if my baby girl is okay. The man specifically mentioning that he had been deported to Mexico before Dulce disappeared and alluding to suspicion about what he knows. For those that think that I took my baby girl, let me tell you that I, I got nothing to do with it. For now, as Noema and her family prepare to mark another somber birthday at the park where Dulce went missing, a continued plea for their family to be reunited with their sweet girl. If someone has her, what do you say to that? I want my daughter home. I just want her to be home with me and my family. And the family and community members will gather here at the park on Monday in celebration of Dulce's eighth birthday. There's even a tree here that is designated for her in this park. Marnie? Mm -hmm. It is so heartbreaking, Evan. And, and what stands out to me is that phone call to 911 that the mom 
makes when she goes missing, you can hear in her voice. I, I think of myself, you know, at the park and one of your children, you know, disappears from your sight for just a minute and you start to panic. I can't imagine what that family's going through all these years later, not having the answers. Um, important story to highlight. Evan, thank you. If you have any information about Dulce Alaves, please call Bridgeton Police or the Cumberland County Prosecutor's Office. We've got that number for you on the screen. Every person like Dulce matters. They disappear, they matter to their family, they matter to their friends. And those family and friends are desperate to find them, desperate for answers. We are in this together. Our team at Prime here at News Nation has made it our priority to partner with families and friends looking for those answers. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.